welcome viewers in our learning for knowledge youtube channel this is the second part of the boiler series videos in this video we describe some generalized components of steam boiler these components are mostly common in various types of designs so we will only focus in this video those components which are main and common for all types of boilers. So we will move towards the video. The steam boiler system, as you know, the steam boiler is basically a vessel, enclosed vessel that contains water and upon, and upon applying the heat, when we supply the heat, it will convert this water into steam. This is called steam boiler and commonly used heat sources for the boiling or conversion of a water into steam are oil, gas and coal. These are the thermal uh, sources. So all steam boilers contain tubes that separate the water from the heat source. So if we will look or we can say that generalized components of the boiler which are present normally in many types of, bo types of boiler, these are firebox, burners, drums, economizer, safety valve, steam distribution system, boiler feed water system so these you can say components or sections of the boiler generalize what is firebox so firebox basically is a component which is comprised of refractory lining it has a burner and convection type section and radiant section for heat con heat radiation and convection type of heat fans for the flowing of air and fuel air control a stack and dumpers basically this this all these types or all these sub components come in the heading of firebox the boiler firebox is insulated to reduce the loss of heat that is through refractory lining or refractory bricks and enhance the heat energy being transferred to the boilers internal components then a very important part is burner a burner is a mechanical device that inject required amount of fuel whether it is a coal gas a furnace oil a diesel and air through a distribution system and creates a combination and creates a condition of rapid mixing so fuel and air can be rapidly mixed and produce a combustion which generate heat and then when water absorbs this heat at certain temperature and pressure it converts into steam the mixing rate of air and fuel directly affects the flame stability, shape and emission. Very obvious that the ratio of the mixing of air and fuel that is excess, that the fuel and the oxygen required to burn that fuel, basically this ratio plays very important role in the flame stability in the operation of the boiler. Most boilers use natural gas, fuel oil or coal burners to provide heat to the boiler then very important parts are drums in some system there are two types of drum in some there is a one and there are boilers which have no drums now there are usually two types of burner first is normally called mud drum mud drum basically is the lower part or lower drum in the boiler the lower drum in the boiler serves as a settling point for solids in the boiler feed water because once the water converts into the steam then the remaining dissolved solids left behind and they are settled in the point in this drum lower point and then in the drum the mud drum and water tubes are filled completely with the water at so this drum is completely filled and sediment accumulates in the bottom of the mud drum and then this sediment or this uh, concentrated water is removed through a blow down process then steam drum very important part where steam first rises or you can say the first the part where steam appears the steam drum is the upper drum of a boiler a mixture of steam and water is produced and the steam is separated from the water in this drum. This separation process usually includes using mechanical devices to assist in removing any entrained boiler water from the steam. So basically this there is a some mechanical device 
which separates this water and steam and steam drum is not fully not completely filled but is partially full and it has a space available for the steam so this vapor space which is empty in the upper drum allow the saturated steam to collect and pass out of the header now steam form steam from the drum may be discharged directly to steam header or in some boiler heat it further in a superheater to generate superheated steam this is you can say the picture of this drum here water and these droplets are steams and then it separates out from this layer and here there is steam and it go out steam out whether it will go directly to steam turbine or through some other process or some other place which is superheated to further heat and then send to the steam turbine so this is the steam drum then another important point is economizer economizer basically a heat exchanger type thing which basically recover the heat from flue gases and then it use to heat the water which will which is uh, which will fed further into the uh, tubes for further heating so economizer is the section of a boiler used to preheat feed water before it enters the main boiler system so preheating the water increases the boiler system efficiency because when we increase the temperature of the feed water before it enters into the boiler system so temperature is rises and then we require slightly little amount of energy in the boiler or from the furnace to further increase the temperature and also the flue gases which are going out in the atmosphere we will recover the heat from that otherwise it will waste in the atmosphere so preheating the water increases the boiler system efficiency economizer transfers heat from the stack gases to the incoming feed water and purpose is to recover the heat from the hot flue gases the this process will normally increase the efficient overall efficiency of the boiler up to 2 to 4% then there is another important and safety aspect of this boiler system is safety valve this is used to prevent excessive pressure if due to some reason the pressure is build up in a boiler and it reach at a certain point where it is it create a problem so before it create a problem safety safety valve operate and release the pressure so safe so safety valve basically a spring a spring loaded valve that automatically opens when pressure attains the valve setting that is the safety point of the steam pressure when the pressure reach at that point this this spring loaded valve operated and release the pressure from the boiler then we have a steam distribution system the steam distribution system consists of a valve fitting piping and connection so we call this this all this thing in a generalized term of steam distribution system and this is suitable for the pressure of the steam being transported so in this part and this system there is a steam is present and different type of valve fittings and piping are present steam exit the boiler at sufficient pressure required for the process unit or for electrical generation so the steam which produced in this boiler may be used for some of the chemical process or any other process or for the electrical generation by the uh, movement of the turbine then we have a boiler feed water system the boiler feed water system basically supply the pure form of the water for the steam generation the water used in the steam generation must be pure and it has as low as possible dissolved impurities and minerals and sludge or suspended particle if these impurities increases this will create a problem in the boiler system by increasing the scaling and sludge formation or corrosion and dissolved gases must also be removed uh, from this boiler water to avoid corrosion and this can be now the water this water cleaning take place before uh, it becomes the boiler feed water that is it passes through some ro reverse osmosis membrane or water treatment plant to for the production of boiler feed water and also deaeration or deaerator are present in the boiler system to remove the dissolved gases 
Then there is another part which is not directly part of boiler, but it is a part of the system, a part of this complete plant which is known as condenser. So a steam condenser basically is a closed vessel in which steam is condensed by abstracting the heat by cooling it with water. That is, the steam is converted back again into the water. How it happened that this is in this condenser water, uh, cold water is flowing on one side of the tube and other side there is a steam. Now steam give it heat to the cold water and then that water take the heat from the steam and then it goes to cooling tower or runs through cycle. But the steam which give its heat to that cold water through the, those tubes then it is again converted into the water. Now the condensed steam is known as condensate. The steam which condense again come into the water is called condensate and the efficiency of the steam power plant is increased by the use of a condenser. The steam condenser is an essential component of all modern steam power plants. Steam condenser basically perform two main function or it has two objective. The primary objective is to maintain a low pressure, below atmospheric pressure in, in this condenser so as to obtain the maximum possible energy from the steam because at low pressure when steam come it expand and thus to secure a high efficiency. The secondary objective is to supply pure feed water to the hot well which is located after this condenser from where it is pumped back to the boiler. When condenser convert this steam into condensate and then water then it goes to the hot well where it was pumped back to the boiler. This is a systematic you can say very generalized uh, scheme of uh, this uh, plant. Here the condenser normally we start from condenser where the water comes pump, pump these pumps uh, pump the water into the boiler where furnaces and heating take place and then from this complete boiler it becomes the steam and then go to turbine and then after uh, moving this turbine then this steam again converted into water from this condenser this is a cycle so this is some main components of the boiler which we explained in this video I hope you like this and keep watching our videos. Thank you very much.